Welcome back to the channel everybody. So in today's episode, I'm out in Wasatch State Park and just checking out all this really cool fall color. So we're in the, the height of fall right now here in northern Utah and we've got a lot of really incredible color in these these aspen trees and it's just it's looking really really great out there. And so I'm out here trying to find some some photos. It's a little tricky because we've got clear blue skies but I think if we try hard enough we should be able to find some pretty neat images today. So I'm walking through this aspen forest here, uh, just out in the Wasatch Mountains, and I am looking for some more abstracty kind of compositions. And I think I may have picked the wrong, the wrong forest. So there's a lot of the trees right here are just kind of, they're, they're really good. Like the, the colors are really great. Um, lots of yellows and, and whatnot, but um, a lot of them just don't have a lot of stuff on them. And it's, it's kind of a sparse, I guess, zone of trees. So like I've, I've got a huge section of blue sky right above me. Um, but there's a little clearing over here and then I'm gonna go walk out into and, and see if I can find something maybe shooting back into this little grove of trees. Um, it will be good to kind of get some eyes on on the other side um, to kind of see what, what this looks like. So on the other side that I just came from, um, looks really nice but there's, there's a billion people over there and I just, there, there's really not like much of a composition to shoot. So I'm going to walk over here and, and see what I can, see what I can figure out as far as a uh, composition goes. So really trying to stretch myself today and try to find something that I normally wouldn't shoot um, and kind of take my time with it. So we'll see what I'm able to get. So there's this really cool like wall of aspens right there and I would love to shoot it but I think we're still a little too early. Um, the tops of those trees are pretty green so I, I would love to get like a like a tight shot um, on just like a section of the uh, the, the bark of the tree and uh, then with like the top do something a little bit uh, a little bit abstract in that sense but uh, I think we're still a little too early so I might have to come back in a couple days for that shot but that's a uh, that's a potential winner right there. So um, I think I'm gonna head this way and check out some of these trees over here. Um, we might have some some good options this way. So let's head over there. So I, uh, one, I am covered in these little like sticker things and they hurt really bad. Um, like all these little thorns, I must have walked through something. But um, I also found, as, as I was walking over to these, these trees over here, I found a little composition that I think might be kind of cool. Um, there's this tree over here that is all illuminated, looks really cool. And right behind it is that wall of really dark aspens. And so I'm going to try and shoot it with a longer lens and see uh, what I can get from that. So I'm going to get set up here and take that shot. I don't have the base plate for the camera. Uh, I'm gonna check my bag. Well, it's not in there. So I told myself before I left, I gotta grab the base plate for this. And uh, I was like, ah, it never leaves the camera. So I should be good. But apparently it left the camera. So we're just gonna have to do this handheld, which I don't love, but for this, I mean, it's, it's bright enough for the day that we should be fine. I don't know if this is gonna work with the sun right there. I, honestly, I I wish I had a uh, lens hood for this, but. Well, we tried the hand trick and I don't know, maybe that worked. So you'll see the image here in just a second, but um, yeah, I don't know. I think that was maybe fine. So, um, I like the composition. It's kind of split up evenly. 
and I like how that tree is illuminated um, against the kind of greener background. I don't love that they're green, but it is what it is. So, all right, moving on to the next spot. I like this photo a lot. It's, it's not like anything I've ever really shot before, so I think it's really cool. It's kind of ethereal feeling, so I like it. Remember that part where I left the plate for my camera at home? Idiot. So I have a shot in mind, um, and I don't know that this is the right place to get it, honestly. Um, I'm kind of looking for an abstract shot that has all of these, um, like the, the bark, or the, the main section of each of these trees, kind of lined up. I'm getting somewhat of a, uh, a 2D, kind of flat image with some, with some cool light and the, you know, the cool colors, colors and everything, but I don't know, I'm not seeing anything yet. So this, this area here looks promising. But, I don't know, we'll keep looking. We'll see what we can find. So I'm gonna head up here. So, so I was walking in this same area and I heard some water, um, like a little stream nearby. So I'm gonna go walk over here and check that out. Maybe there's something in terms of a uh, composition over here. So yeah, let's go. let's go look at that, see what that looks like. So I also see another potential shot, like right here. So we're gonna look at the water, I'll hurry up and come over here. And then we're gonna go to a different spot because uh, we're about probably 15 minutes away from losing all of our light right here, so we're gonna we're gonna kind of hurry a little bit All right, I'm not gonna lie. That's mildly disappointing It sounded way really bigger uh, from over around the corner, so That sucks. It just kind of bends um, Over there doesn't really seem to go anywhere. I know there's a lake kind of down the road, but Yeah, this is kind of a bust I just saw the coolest little house on top of this hill. It's like a big red cabin and it's surrounded all by yellow bright aspens. So I think in a minute, uh, I'm probably gonna get the drone out and send it up there and see what I can, if I can get something from that. So without getting too close, I don't wanna invade people's privacy too much. Okay, so you wanna know something dumb? I, right as the light went away, I found a, a cool composition and uh, this was kind of what I was looking for the whole time. So but the light's gone. So it's, you can kind of see the sun. It's like barely, ah, oh, it's gone. Never mind. It's like right over the, uh, right over the hill. But I was hoping that I could still get a little bit of it just kind of down in these little bits of, of like yellow leaves and, and whatnot that are closer to the floor of the, of the forest. And dang, yeah, this is really cool. I just, I love all these little, like all these little trunks and stuff that are right here. And, um, I just think it's really cool. I would have shot it as a square composition. Um, because I, I think that it would f uh, best fit the scene. But, dang, well, guess I gotta come back. So, which is not a bad thing, so. All right, I have one more shot I'm gonna go take and hopefully I can get it before the light goes because we only have a couple minutes, then I'm gonna head. Um, I'm gonna head up to a different spot. Actually, I might snag a drone shot of that, that house first and just kind of drive, fly the drone around a little bit, see what we can get, but. I, honestly, I don't have that high of expectations today. We have clear blue skies, so I'm not shooting any grand landscape. And I don't know, we'll see. Colors are great though, the, the fall colors are, are amazing, but um, I might just be in kind of the wrong spot. So I, I probably would prefer to go up to American Fort Canyon. I've got a couple spots up there that I've shot before and I would like to do again, um, just because it was a few years ago and um, you know, I've grown a lot as a photographer since then so i would love to go back and shoot some of those spots but uh maybe we'll have to go there uh sometime this weekend or maybe this next week i know we have some weather moving in um i believe the beginning of next week so we will probably have some good shooting conditions then but as of right now with this blue sky i'm just trying to find some stuff that's a little abstract and um just kind of test myself a little bit see what i can do so but anyway let's go get that other shot and then we will send the drone into the air so on my way back to the car, I stopped and I didn't get that photo that I was initially wanting to get, but I got a couple other ones that I think were kind of neat. So here's a couple examples of, of what I was able to capture. 
So I really like this one. Um, I was able to find a spot where there was some sunlight and turned around and, and shot this, but I don't love the composition 100%, so I ended up cropping in a little bit and changing it to this. I think this just works better as a composition. It's a little bit more simplified and a little easier on the eyes. So I like this one a lot. And then I shot this one, and I'll be honest, I'm not sure why, but I really like it. And when I shot it, I, I liked that the uh, the forest floor was really warm and it was being hit by sunlight in front and then it was kind of falling off into that shadow in the background, but I don't know, let me know your thoughts on it. So I got back to the car, got my drone out of the bag and got it ready to fly. And I didn't really have high expectations for this flight, but once I got it up into the air, I was really blown away and captured my favorite images of the night. This random guy was nice. For some reason I thought he was going to be mad at me about flying my drone in a spot where it was okay to fly my drone, but he just wanted to ask questions about portrait photography locations, which I guess means that I have the appearance of a trusty professional photographer, which is nice. Anyways, I packed up and left that spot and went to one final location for the evening. Okay, so I'm at my, my last spot that I wanted to check out, and unfortunately we missed all the light, but um, we got kind of this cool warm glow that's happening here in this valley from all these these yellow trees and it's making for some really cool kind of blue hour conditions so we are just about out of all of our light um, I'm gonna try to snag one more photo here with the long lens maybe we'll get something cool with the uh, the wide lens with this uh, fence here I, I really like that I think it's really cool um, really really not gonna be able to get much as far as like as really tight compositions on anything this isn't the greatest um, overlook, but I, I think it's cool. I think there's some potential here. There's something we can do, but I really wish that I had a much longer lens than what I have right now. So, but we are just going to have to deal with what we have. So I'm going to snap a few photos and then we'll head home. So, cause we're, we're pretty much out of light. So the sun is gone. You can see that, that dark line of the earth's shadow starting to, to move up over the horizon and yeah, it's looking good. I love this photo a lot. It's one of my favorites from the evening. This photo is fine. So you're not going to be able to see on camera, but there's a moose, like right over there. Um, it's kind of a ways away from me, so I'm not too concerned, but I'm done shooting now. So I'm going to head back to the car and we're going to call it a night. So I want to get back before it gets too dark because I got to walk up this road a little bit and it's kind of a busy road. So. But anyways, in the meantime, make sure you subscribe, like, comment, let me know what you think about the photos you saw in this video, and come back soon for another fall video because we have more on the way. So, because fall's not over yet, we're only in the beginning of October. So, anyways, hope you have a good one, and we'll see you next time. Bye.